Hi everybody, my name is Jason DeWild and I'm the Head of Audio here at the Australian Institute of Music and welcome to another micro lecture. Today's lecture we're going to be looking a little inside that fantastic program called Reason and then specifically inside Reason there's a great fantastic machine called Dr. Rex. It's one of the coolest parts of this particular program and we're going to have a look a little bit at how to create something very funky inside Dr. Rex. So we're going to get basically a loop and then we're going to create a little fill out of it really quickly. Here we go. Okay, so uh, here I've got uh, Reason with uh, Dr. Rex just simply loaded uh, underneath the mixer here. Um, I'm just going to just randomly find a loop of some sort and I'm going to go just into the Reason Factory sound bank, Chemical Beats, and let's just find one. Yep, that sounds good. Alright, I'm just going to load that one in and I'm going to make my um, my track or my loop go between bars one and four for the moment. So I'm just going to make my right locator down here to uh, bar five and to get this happening onto the track you just simply of course press the two track button and now the loop actually goes into uh, here. Now um, one of the great things I like doing straight away with this is um, this loop works totally fine Okay, but I think it's, I always find it much more useful if we just create a slight variation inside it so that the loop just simply doesn't keep cycling the whole song. So I'm going to go into the second clip here and uh, just bring that up a little bit more. One of my favorite things to do is to randomly select a couple of notes inside the loop like this. Okay, and then I'll go to the window menu and show the tool window. Right, here we are. And what we have, we've got these notes selected here. And what I'm going to do is alter the notes. So on the tool menu here, I just usually pick something like 50%, but you can kind of experiment around with it with that. And when we hit apply, what happens is that the notes get randomly scattered around. And it looks kind of strange, um, but you'll find that 90% of the time, this actually creates something very musical. So we're going to play from bar one to bar five. So throughout the first two bars, you're going to hear the normal loop, and that's those notes just there. And then you're going to hear like the scattered version. Okay, so let's have a listen. So that particular one technique is fantastic to actually create some useful timing and useful fills um, across your loop like that. So it's a great little tip, it's fantastic for being able to just kind of chop up your loop, get a little bit of variety happening in your song. So there you have it. Dr. Rex can be really useful for us in, uh, in our productions and it's a very, very great tool to have as well. So till next time, take care. See you later.